coronavirus has happened and we don't have enough ventilators. Now, at its simplest, a ventilator is just a way to inflate and deflate the lungs of a patient who can't do it themselves. Uh, so I've made this in my garage in a day, uh, just as a project. Uh, it's based on a wet and dry vacuum cleaner that can blow as well as suck. It's got a DIY changeover valve, which is a bit of aluminium with a hole in it. The, the hole gets shunted between the two uh, blow and suck hoses. And that alternates breathing in the lungs, which are represented here by a space hopper. Now in the real application, you would use uh, a respirator. You'd put the hoses onto the uh, ports of a respirator mask or something. Uh, now, the changeover valve is powered by this electric drill with a cam operated rotating cam on the top, but it's not very good this. I would replace this with a, uh, a pneumatic actuator in a real application, but this is just what I had available. So let's see what it's like. Let's fill it up a bit. Right, that's enough of that. So in real life, you'd want to have uh, a bit more control, measure pressures, measure carbon dioxide concentrations and things like that. Uh, I'm not sure what the quality of the air would be. This I'm not going to test it on anyone because it's a used uh, vacuum cleaner. They used it cleaning drains and things, so it'd be disgusting. Uh, uh, you'd, I hope that the CO2 would, wouldn't build up inside the unit. It's pretty lossy around the valve. So I don't think that would be a problem. Um, I'm not sure how long before the vacuum cleaner would overheat. Um, and you'd probably want to put filters inside the lines uh, to protect the patient from dust getting into their lungs. So yeah, see if you can improve on this. What do you think? If you're a company in the UK and you want to produce ventilators for coronavirus, then get in touch. I'm a manufacturing process engineer, I have a PhD, I'm a published author, and I've got a patent. Bye.